Good morning. It's Monday the 14th of February, so it was a year ago I did a similar video to this. Slightly different here, but don't panic. My fringe is going to be cut by my lovely hairdresser this week. No more Frexit moments. I couldn't wait for my hair cut this week because I thought it was appropriate to do um, this video today as it's Valentine's Day. Now, I'm not holding a red rose, but I'm holding a beautiful pink rose, um, which was part of a bouquet of flowers sent to me by my lovely son, Ross. So thank you very much. Now, if you're alone or not alone or not with a loved one, which I know there will be many, don't turn off this video because this is for everybody. You might remember me talking about love quite a bit to, a few times um, over the, all my live videos and posted on social media. One that caught my eye was one where a parrot, now you might remember I've done this before, it was a parrot repeating in front of a mirror, I love you, I love you, I love you. Now I know you might all be laughing at this and thinking, oh look, um, this is silly, but I've asked you before to do this. It really makes you feel good. You know, you need to love yourself before you can love anyone else. So try it when you're alone, obviously not with others or people. It will be a bit silly. So when you're alone in front of a mirror, just repeat, looking into your eyes, the windows of the soul and say, uh, you know, repeat, I love you. I love you. I love you. But here are, hi, Angela, I'll give you a wee wave there. Um, so here are some tips on how to feel loved. And I already told you the first one. Use my A, that's the A of my ABC, an affirmation. And just say, I love you. I love you. The next tip is you've got to build your self-esteem. By focusing, you can do this by focusing on the positives and use another affirmation. I I'm okay the way I am. Just anything that's very positive. Ditch all these negative things. You've got to build your self-confidence. Speak up for yourself. Be proud of your achievements. It's not being boastful. But remember, of course, how you see it. And then remember to ask for help also when you need it. And accept that help. Now, I know we've probably grown up being told by people, don't boast, don't, you know, don't say, oh, I'm good at this, I'm good at that. But actually, we need to be proud of our own achievements. You need to know what love looks like. Now, there are people in terrible relationships. You've maybe experienced this yourself. Just think of someone who says, I love you on the one hand and then hurts you. And that can be emotionally, psychologically, mentally. These are the hidden bruises and of course, physically, absolute no-no. Why not listen to my podcast on narcissism? If you suffer um, living with someone who's a narcissist, then this this is not love. If you suffer any of these things, it is not love. And actually, the only answer is to leave. I know that's not easy, but really it is. Go back and listen to my videos on YouTube um, channel or my podcasts. Love is not conditional or one-sided. If you're in a relationship, of course, you should never expect the other person to solve all your problems. A good relationship is a balanced one. If you're not in a relationship, of course, that's fine too. Don't think that you can't be happy unless you're in a relationship. People who love themselves are al and are alone, they're not lonely, they're alone. People in unhealthy relationships can be very lonely and you may know friends like that. You may be been in that position yourself. I know the tendency is we think, oh, you know, everybody's relationship. Isn't that a lovely couple? Isn't that, aren't they great? And they never argue and all this. I mean, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You deserve to be with someone and have friends and relationships that are fulfilling. Remember, it's better to be alone than in a terrible relationship. And I know, believe me, and you've probably got friends that way. You've maybe experienced this as well. Don't have a set idea on what love looks like. It's not always romantic with expensive gifts and cards, although that's fabulous too. It's fabulous to get and makes you feel good. But you need to think about the overall relationship picture. You can find love in the most unexpected ways and when you do, it's magical. 
So here are some tips for Valentine's Day. Well, every day, really. If you're celebrating alone, then, then help yourself to feel loved by just saying, I love you, I love you. And have kind, do kind gestures for others. That makes you feel good as well. And stop the negative voice in your head telling you you're not loved or you're not good enough to be loved. You are. So keep repeating, I love you. I love you. Of course, another tip is if you've got a pet. Pets are absolutely fabulous. Now, give them the biggest cuddles. I can't speak for any other animals, but I love dogs, as you all know. Um, when I go out my walks with the doggies, I don't have a dog myself just now, but I'm fortunate I can borrow my daughter Gail's lovely Floyd, the Cocker Spaniel, the black and tan Cocker Spaniel. I borrow Ross's dog, the Vizsla, Princess Darcy. She's um, just, she, they're both wonderful. And of course, my other daughter, Kirsty, she's now got a red fox lab, Isla. So I just love dogs. I can borrow them and they give unconditional love. Nothing better than giving them a huge cuddle. After this video, of course, I hope to do one of my live Pat's Pup Park walks. A bit difficult to see, but hopefully they inspire and motivate you. And, uh, you know, just it's just wonderful to be with animals like that. They just love unconditionally. The next tip is show love to your partner, not just by saying, you know, I love you or loving words, but give compliments, praise them, encourage them. It works both ways because this shows you care. Maybe make breakfast or even just a cuppa, tidy up. If you promise to do something, then please fulfil the promise. Always follow through, no matter how small. Give a gift. But the gift doesn't have to be expensive because if you can't afford it, everybody's on a tight budget since the terrible last two years. So you don't need the expensive gift. Um, I mean, I'm holding this lovely pink rose, but even one red rose just costs a fortune just now. So maybe just give your um, loved one their favourite sweet. You know, maybe a bar of chocolate, even a, just a sweet, something small. The best present, of course, is to give them time, to be present with them. And that means, even if it's a short time, it means just giving them their full attention. Don't sit with the mobile phone as well. So you've got to give them the full attention, even for a short time. That just works wonders. Give hugs and kisses. Hold hands. Touch is very important. Touch makes you feel warm and safe inside. And I've said before, if you're living alone, and I know it can be sort of maybe sound a wee bit creepy, but you can actually just hold yourself. You can feel the warmth and the energy there. So don't, you're not missing out. Um, because I think that's what happened over the, the pandemic, that people missed out on touch. Loved ones weren't allowed not just to see their loved ones, but be near them. Of course, you should teach your children to love themselves and show love too and show them love because they'll then grow up um, loving themselves and they'll also know what true love is and know what it is to have a healthy relationship and they won't be looking for, for, for fulfilment in others or someone else. And of course, my ABC, please make that your good habit. So for today... Your A would be, I feel loved. Or just say that, I love you, I love you. But I feel loved. Anything that's positive like that makes you feel good. B, of course, is for your breathing, your deep breathing. And again, if you watch a baby or a dog, they breathe from the lower, from the tummy, from the lower diaphragm. That's deep breathing because it, it keeps you calm, but it also energizes you. And of course, see, I know in my previous live videos, I used to actually do a Mind Bites meditation, a short meditation, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say today, see, use your creative imagination and just take yourself somewhere uh, that you feel happy, to your happy place where you feel warm, safe and loved. I mean, I wish I did have a magic wand so that you would all know what it is to feel loved. But I do give you my ABC. Please practice them. It does make you feel good. So I wish you all a fabulous Valentine's Day and love to you all. You are worth it.
And my two trademark tips, of course, are smile and laugh. They cost you nothing. So virtual hugs to you all and thank you again for listening and watching. And I'll be back soon with a, another a live video. And of course, I hope to do my Pat's Pup Park walks later. And thank you again. So bye for now.